on Fox tonight. A big development in the ongoing battle between landlords and tenants in the city of Portland. Today, the city council amended a renter protection ordinance that passed back in 2019. It's an effort now for the city to try to settle a lawsuit with a group of property owners. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is live tonight at City Hall to tell us more about what this means for landlords and for tenants. Connor. Well, Pete Nora, the fair in access um, renting ordinance was um, initially had broad support from city council in 2019. Now, the initial goal was to protect renters from discrimination and have easy access to housing. But a lawsuit filed by landlords in 2020 was settled by the city council where they amended a portion of that ordinance involving security deposits. In a unanimous vote during Wednesday's Portland City Council meeting, commissioners struck lines in the Fair Access and Renting Ordinance, giving landlords fewer restrictions and holding back their renters' security deposits. It created a, a nightmare of paperwork and potential liability to have a, a fairness having to do with deposits. Jerry Mason was one of three plaintiffs who sued the city over the ordinance. The real irony of this is they developed this regulation with this through the city and they really never brought the housing supply industry to the table. In fact, we tried to get there. Mason and the other plaintiffs settled with the city to change the law. What the city council did Wednesday put the liability of damages from a tenant back on that specific renter. The amended law also now gives landlords the ability to charge renters for damages not on their move-in checklist. Landlords do not have to calculate the depreciated value of damaged items as well. Not happy with it, with the solution, but satisfied. It didn't hit the mark. It didn't, it didn't solve a problem that they thought they had. Portland City Commissioner Dan Ryan, who proposed the ordinance, still believes the law is the best way to help solve the housing crisis and protect renters. I want to be very clear, these revisions to FAIR do not erode the intent of this ordinance. FAIR is here to stay and these changes will facilitate the city's ability to implement this ordinance fairly. Commissioner Ryan also says the city doesn't comment on pending litigation matters. Mason agrees Portland needs to find solutions to the housing crisis, and he wants local leaders to work with the housing industry to find ways for all Portlanders to have a fair shot at getting a roof over their heads. The key is getting all the stakeholders at the table so it doesn't you don't have lopsided uh, solutions. OP and Nora, just to be clear, this uh, settlement does not cost taxpayers any money. It just simply amends a portion of the ordinance. Now, when it comes to other restrictions like background checks and also income requirements, well, that's still in effect. Live in downtown Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12, Oregon.